you've been wondering how to make use of your license key for the Events Calendar Pro or any of Modern Tribe's premium plugins, look no further because that's what I'm going to walk through over the next couple minutes here. By this point I've already installed and activated the Events Calendar Pro on my site, and it's worth noting that for this demo I'm not going to use any of the other premium add-ons. The behavior is going to be exactly the same whether you're using Pro or something like Eventbrite Tickets, the Filters add-on, etc. The process is going to be the same, so while I might have multiple add-ons installed at the moment, I don't have all of them active. I've only activated the Events Calendar Pro, but just keep in mind that this is going to be the same process regardless. From the back end, I'm going to go into this Events sidebar menu and I'm going to click into Settings here. And in Settings, I will go into the Licenses tab. The Licenses tab will only appear if you have at least one premium plugin active, but once it does, it lists off all the current license keys that you have in place. Now once I come to this page, it's worth noting that I don't actually have a license key in place because while I installed the plugin, I have not gone to the process of actually plugging in my key yet. Keep in mind that this does not limit the functionality of the plugin in any way. Because I don't have a license key, I am not going to lose functionality. I'm not going to be limited in terms of what I can do. You can use the plugin 100% without a license key in place. However, there are two significant limitations without a key. One, you can't access support, so our support forum team won't be able to help you if you don't have an active key in place. And two, you won't have access to updates to the plugin. So if we release a new build, which we tend to do on a monthly basis, you won't be able to download that and have access to the latest code without a key in place. All things said and done, if you've already purchased this key, why not use it? That's what we're going to do right now. I have a separate tab open where I'm logged into the Modern Tribe website. You log in with the credentials that you set up during the checkout process, and once you're logged in, you'll come into Account Central and down to License Keys. For every premium plugin you've bought, you'll have the license keys available on this list. And for any empty slots, such as you see right here for three, you'll know, okay, I can use this key one more time on any site that has an empty slot. Right here, I have this first Events Calendar Pro license. It's good to go. It's used on two of three sites. And so why don't I just take advantage of it right now? To do that, I'm going to copy the entire string, go back to the back end of my site into this Licenses tab, and just paste what I copied. I'll tab out of it, let it do its little loading thing. Sometimes the loader will be underneath, but more often than not, it'll be over here on the right. And when it's finished with a green message that says Valid Key with an expiration date, you'll know you're good. If you see a red message that says expired key or invalid key, you're going to have a problem and it did not take effect. You should follow up on that and make sure that you can get it sorted because the only way that it has truly triggered and that it actually does take effect and save in the system is when you see this green message, when you save, and when upon completing the save, that green message persists. Know what happens now if we go back over to the license keys page and refresh. We'll indeed see that localhost shows up in that third slot. This is a local site, so obviously localhost is what it's going to show, but if I had it on a live website somewhere on the web, you'd see a URL more like this, pro.tribe, demo.tribe, etc. Let's say, for example, that I was building my site on localhost, but it's now time to move it over to the live environment. How do I move the key? It's a good question, and it's a two-step process. What I'm first going to do is just go over to the back end of my site again here. I'm going to take the entire license key, I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to save. Make sure that when you finish saving, the key is indeed gone and go back over to your License Keys page on the Tribe site. Hit this Disconnect Now option. When the pop-up comes up, confirm it with OK. And when it finishes reloading, make sure that slot 3, or whatever slot you are working with, has indeed been emptied out again. This tells us, OK, we still have our third slot available for use. We've just undone the change that we did a second ago by adding this key to this site. One more thing you're going to want to keep in mind is sometimes you might have to re-download and reinstall the plugin entirely. If you have to do that, you can access this Account Central option over here in the right-hand sidebar or in the drop-down up top. Come into Downloads, and you will have a list of all of the plugins that you've purchased available for download. It'll always show the most recent build with the release date, and all you have to do is hit this download link and you'll be set. Once you've downloaded it, just install it, plug in the license keys we just demonstrated, and you'll be good to go. Hope this helps, but if you have further questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. We want to make sure everybody who has a license can get it sorted and can take full advantage of both support and updates down the road. Thanks for watching.